All right, so we got both ladies out on a little walk, a little pack walk with me this morning. And uh, I've noticed that with freedom, they don't really know what to do around each other. They're a little socially awkward. And a lot of that's because in the past, aggression is what they've chosen to do. And now we're saying that's not an option. And so they have some suspicion of, okay, well, what do we do? And so this is a great way to have them learn how to cope with each other is by working their obedience together. So we're working on the with me out on this little trail and it's allowing them to feel some kind of safety and structure even if they feel anxious about the other. So anxiety is unpredictable, but structure is not. The obedience commands are not. So it's gonna be really important as we work more and more with Pepper that she knows what's expected. And then with Rika, we follow through on what she knows and um, she knows what to do. So we just need to follow through with her and be really consistent and build that relationship of structure between you and her. Because actually, Rika hasn't shown any issues with Pepper. It's actually been Pepper. It's been more uncomfortable with Rika. So, um, it makes sense. I mean, she's been bullied for a long time from Rika. There's not a lot of trust between these two gals. But I'm seeing hope. Uh, Rika, I muzzle in the house when we need a little bit, uh, we're in tighter spaces. Whereas out here, we're, there's this nice flow, right? So we're moving, they're not like nose to nose, they're together, but there's something to do, like the obedience. So I've even stopped and asked for sit and those kinds of things. So come on, peps, really good.